Hi, sorry I haven't been uploading videos uh, recently, but I've been extremely busy. And now I've got plenty of time uh, due to the uh, coronavirus and everything being locked down. So I just want to do a couple of lessons, hopefully one lesson per every three days. Um, so I'm going to start off with something very basic, is how do I expand single brackets? And so I'm going to go through a series of examples and hopefully there'll be questions for you to try at home. Okay. Now the first thing you need to remember is that there's certain rules in algebra that you need to abide by. So these rules are, if the signs are different, the answer is going to be negative. So for example, multiplying a positive with a negative or a negative with a positive, the overall outcome or the answer is going to be a negative. And again, when you're dividing with a positive with a, and a negative or a negative with a positive, the overall outcome is going to be a negative. And when the signs are the same, the answer is positive. So for example, you're multiplying a positive with a positive or a negative with a negative, the overall outcome is going to be a positive. Again, when you divide a positive with a positive or a negative with a negative, the overall outcome is going to be a positive. So these are the rules that you need to remember and I suggest you try to memorize them. So we're going to go through our first example and our first example is five open brackets, four plus five Z close brackets. Now what we need to do first is that we need to multiply the first term outside the bracket with the first term inside the bracket. So we need to do five multiplied by the four. Five times four is 20. So I'm going to put 20 over here. I'll repeat the process, but this time instead of multiplying with the first term inside the bracket, I'm going to multiply it with the second term inside the bracket. So five times by five Z, which is five Z. I'm going to put them together. So our answer is going to be tw plus 25Z. Now you can use the grid method if you want. All you need to do is just multiply going across. So 5 times 4, 20. 5 times 5Z is 25Z. I'm going to put so 20 plus 25z our answer. Now our second example is just change the slide over. Minus 8 open brackets 2 minus 9z close brackets. Again I'm going to repeat the exact same process. So this time it's negative 8 first time outside the bracket with the first time inside the bracket. I'm going to multiply these two numbers. So minus 8 times by minus 2 one negative term and a positive will give us an overall negative. So minus 8 times by 2 is minus 16. Minus 8, we're going to multiply it again with minus 9z. It's going to give us a positive answer. So that's going to be positive 72z. So our overall answer is going to be minus 16 plus 72 Z. And again I'm going to use I'm going to be using the grid method. All I'm going to do again is just multiply going cross. So minus 8 times by 2 is minus 16. Minus 8 times minus 9z is going to give us a positive answer. So that's going to be positive 72 Z. I'm going to move on to my third example. So this example is very similar to the previous example, but the only difference this time is that we have a minus 8 at the end. So again, I'm going to repeat the exact same process. Minus 8, we're going to multiply that by 2. Minus 8 times by 2 is minus 16. Minus 8 times by minus 9z, which is going to be positive 72z. Now I'm just going to re rewrite the question out over here. Minus 16 plus 72, oops, minus 8. Now all I'm going to do now is collect like for like terms. So we have minus 16 minus 8, which is going to give us minus 24. 
plus 72Z. And that's our answer. Moving on to our fourth example. We have minus 6 open bracket x minus 2 close brackets. Again, I'm going to repeat the exact same process. So we're going to multiply the first term outside the bracket with the first term inside the bracket. So minus 6 multiplied by x, which is going to give us minus 6x. Again, multiply the first term outside the bracket with the second term inside the bracket. So minus 6, we're going to multiply it by minus 2. When you multiply a negative with negative, the overall outcome is going to be a positive. So it's going to be positive 12. Now the second student example, we have 4g squared, open brackets, 3g squared minus 8h cubed, close brackets. All I'm going to do now is repeat the same process in the previous examples and expand this bracket. So the first term outside the bracket, which is 4g squared, I'm going to multiply that with the first term inside the bracket, which is 3g squared. Now 4g squared times it by 3g squared. So 4 times 3, I'm going to start off with that, which is 12. Now at this point, what you need to do is your indices rule. When the base variables are the same, all you need to do is add the powers together. So we have g, 2 plus 2 is 4. So our answer is going to be 12g raised to the power of 4. Now again, I'm going to repeat the exact same process. But this time I'm going to multiply it with the second term inside the bracket. So 4g squared, I'm going to multiply that by negative 8h cubed. So 4g squared multiplied it by minus 8h cubed. 4 times minus 8 is minus 32. Now at this stage, what you need to remember is that we don't have any similar variables. So all we need to do is just multiply them together. So g squared times by h cubed is going to give us g squared h cubed. So our final answer is going to be 12g raised to the power of 4 minus 32g squared h cubed. Now moving on to my next example. What we have is 9 minus 2e open brackets, 3 minus 5e close brackets. So I'm just going to put the 9 over here and then I'm going to expand the brackets. So minus 2e multiplied by 3 is going to give us minus 6e. Minus 2e multiplied by minus 5e is going to give us a positive answer because we have a negative times a negative. It's going to be plus 10e squared. Now moving on to our fourth student example. We have 7 minus 3 open brackets 8t plus 6 close brackets. So again I'm just going to put the 7 over here. And then I'm going to expand the brackets. So minus 3 multiplied it by 8t. Which is going to give us minus 24t. Again, minus 3 multiplied by 6 is going to give us minus 18. At this point, what we need to do is collect like for like terms. So you have a positive and minus 18. 7 minus 18 is going to give us minus 11 minus 24t. So that's our answer. Now, moving on to our last two examples, what we should have is 8 minus open brackets, 1 minus k close brackets. So what you need to recognize, if we don't have a number in front of the negative, what that means is by default, the number is going to be 1. So 1 should be in front of the negative. Now again, all I'm going to do is expand my brackets. So first of all, I'm going to put 8 over here. Minus 1 times it by 1 is going to give us minus 1. Minus 1 times it by minus k. Negative times a negative is going to give us a positive, so plus k. 8 minus 1, 7, plus the k is our answer. 
7 minus 2, open brackets, 1 minus k, close brackets. Again, I'm going to expand the brackets. So let me put my 7 over here first. So minus 2 times by 1 is minus 2. Minus 2 times by minus k is going to give us positive 2k. I'm going to simplify it further by 7 minus 2, which is 5. 5 plus 2k is our final answer. Okay, so that's all the examples done. Uh, so what I want you to do now is to try these questions. Uh, you can pause the video and try them. If you find level 6 easy, just move on to level 7. That's it guys, I hope you guys remain safe and remain indoors. Um, hopefully I'll op upload another video um, Thursday. So meanwhile, um, thank you for watching and listening. Bye-bye.